Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is an end-of-day report for trading on Tuesday, June the 21st, 2016. The current chart is a chart of the silver futures. As you can see, uh, the market is still trading within the prior week's zone, and momentum has been coming off along with volume. However, it should be noted out that we still are very supported at the $16 level uh, in the silver. In addition to that, the market is in a negative pulse wave position, but there's no follow through to the downside. So this is strong for silver. And a lot of these technicals don't play out in the charts, meaning that you can't always pick them up. You're not always going to see it with the naked eye. You have to look at other indicators. Uh, for those of you who are new to the Vulcan Report, you're going to want to definitely go to the, the website, and I do believe that the link is at the bottom of this uh, video, and take a look at the, uh, the written commentary for uh, the markets that I cover in the video. What you will see there is the technicals that you will not be able to see with the naked eye on the chart. And it'll let you know what we're looking at as far as our uh, pulse wave uh, price triggers for this week for this particular um, uh, contract. In addition to that, um, there's been a lot of news coming out as of late about what's going to happen with the Brexit and all these other things. Um, it's too much to cover and to go into in this video, but suffice it to say that I told you guys that the powers that be are the ones that created this whole cryptocurrency Bitcoin uh, setup that you see and that it is no different than what already exists what it what they're doing is it's a, it's a 2.0 to what already exists it's a combination of pretty much everything that's already been in place with like uh, Globex and the Nasdaq all electronic uh, market situation but they're expanding it out into other aspects of human culture such as commerce like when you go to the store and using credit cards and stuff all this new technology is all together and you'll see what I mean as time goes on you'll see how they roll this out it's all part of one big massive incredible network and you will see how it will tie in how for example you'll see like uh, you know Bitcoin being accepted worldwide like MasterCard and Visa. They've been really pumping it up lately on the mainstream media how uh, the Bitcoin is so much better than gold and silver and I'm telling you they're setting out to absolutely replace it. That's why China and other sovereign nations have been buying up the physicals. All right, They've been buying it up so that they can have that store of value. Uh, they've even gone as far as to say how Bitcoin is better than gold and silver and that it has uh, more intrinsic value. How can you compare a physical commodity like gold and silver with electronic zeros and ones? I mean, it's, it's literally a house built on sand. You know that uh, microchips and whatnot is nothing but sand. Glass is nothing but sand. Okay? You're literally building castles in the air. You're building castles on sand. And in the end, this is all going to collapse. It's going to fail miserably <clears throat> because it's not backed by anything physical. <clears throat> We're going to totally paperless society. And what's going to end up happening is when the computer systems fail, you'll have nothing to fall back on because nothing else will be accepted as currency. Not physical gold and silver, not coins, not paper. Paper is going to be all but done away with, period. Even paper checks, there will be no uh, paper fiat currency anywhere. This is, it's, it's, it's a nightmare what's coming. Also, you'll notice that it's been in the news already that these, um, these cryptocurrency exchanges have been hit for millions and millions of dollars um, just crazy hacking going on and people robbing the the Ethernet exchanges and things like that and the routing systems being compromised and it's 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 bananas I, I, I'll do another video a whole video series on that because a lot of people think they understand what this is but they have no idea they have no idea so I'm going to break it all down and I will be doing a series 
breaking down this Bitcoin thing and letting you understand because it seems like I, I thought I made it perfectly clear in the video series but obviously not because some people think that um, I don't know what I'm talking about so I'm going to show you and let you see it uh, right out of the horse's mouth everything that I've been telling you and everything I've been saying for years is coming out now and they're really starting to push it and you have to ask yourself a question why are they pushing cryptocurrencies being better than gold and silver all right you gold and silver bugs that should make you infuriated but they're pushing it I'm telling you they're, they're, they're getting close to, to all out, outlawing it and they're smart they know that they can't just say okay we're gonna do like we did in the 30s and just say you know golden owning gold is illegal they know that's not gonna work plus you have so many sovereign uh, wealth funds that are owning it and countries owning it so what they're gonna do is just make it so that it's pretty much um, impossible to use it for trade or commerce because everything's gonna be on the electronic system so we'll be going into more on that now I'll have to dig um, dig dig a little bit deeper for, for you all and we'll, we'll do that but suffice it to say for now um, in the videos I'm gonna keep showing you how the dollar and gold and silver and Bitcoin are moving together alright they're trading together and again for something that's supposed to be aside from and better than and different than our uh, current currency it sure enough is acting like it and moving like it all right and here here's your silver look at it it's moving all right here here we go again they, they, they've managed to keep it down another day all right suppressing it not letting this price pop all right can't crash it but they're not letting it pop either they're, they're keeping it under pressure this is your silver intraday all right and here's your intraday dollar index how that was falling right they suppressed the silver with it and then they pumped liquidity into the dollar to prop it up while they kept the silver down alright notice notice this keep your eye on this right here alright they rallied it up into the Kumo cloud alright so you just seen the the US dollar and then now for today here's your Bitcoin again moving with the US dollar tick for tick moving with the US dollar alright there it is you don't have to take my word for it just follow the money follow the price action here you go from back here and here you go to right here again you start the day up here and you end the day down here here you go there's what more do you need to see except for the the controllers the powers that be are manipulating and controlling this market because it's going to replace the dollar this is the new dollar alright this is what's happening I can't stress this enough here's your Bitcoin here's your dollar they released the dollar but kept down the Bitcoin <laughs> It's, it's a game it's a monopoly game and they're, they're trying to balance the scales and keep this thing to, from teeter tottering over but this is what it is take a look at your oil just the opposite chart right inverse chart here we go we start here and they let it spike up as you can see nice slow steady control bam they shoot it up at the same time they do the dollar the oil is trading with the dollar because that's why it's called the petrodollar. It's linked to oil. <laughs> here's your dollar, here's oil. Alright? The same time the oil pops, same time the dollar pops. They pop. Bitcoin not. <laughs> Alright? There you have it. There you have it it's the proof is in the pudding alright they know what they're doing but the thing you should be watching here is this one right here here's your Nikkei they let that go up and melt up a little bit along with the the Dow the S&P and the NASDAQ but what you need to watch is the pump and the dump right now we're in the pump by the end of the week we'll be in the dump 
that's what they do they bubble up a market when they're getting ready to crash it down so keep your eyes and ears open because this is just only the beginning all right so remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered so remember take what you can and give nothing